Welcome everyone, Christine here with a short video on how to fix improved performance in XCOM 2. There is a link in the description, an annotation on this video with a guide that if you follow will improve the performance of the game. There will still be issues, there will still be stuttering. I'm already in the mission here, it's 60, 70 FPS. There are still drops however that I've noticed from the testing I've done, but nothing too crazy, you know, certainly nothing that was comparable to what uh, was before. Position confirmed. But this is a turn, or well, maybe two turns on my uh, Legend Iron Man playthrough, but I thought it was worth doing with this video. Anyway, so you follow that guide, you follow the instructions, you will have to edi edit the game engine any file in your documents folder and the performance will improve. I'm running this with everything maxed out except some options that I personally disabled and without because I don't like them personally like depth of the field and bloom um, and with the anti-aliasing turned off on a GTX 980 and an i7 3770K and IV bridge processor and 8 gigs of DDR3. Now that's still unacceptable at that on an Unreal Engine 3 um, game, the game still runs as poorly as it does here, but it is an improvement over the vanilla uh, performance. It doesn't fix all the issues here on my settings. With anti-aliasing anti is a massive, massive uh, FPS um, FPS uh, decreaser. So you, you know, you, you probably would need a very, very high-end system to be able to run that. But before, I was not able to run the game with SSAO enabled. Now I am. Yeah, exit without changes. No reason to change that. Um, so, you know, this works. It's sad. It's it's really sad that not only can you fix the performance of the, f of the damn game, by just Get editing on any box. file, but you know what the saddest part is in all of this? That you do so by using the exact same We're changes people use to improve performance of XCOM Enemy Unknown. No kidding, the guide in itself was designed for XCOM Enemy Unknown. I'm not shitting you. So. You gotta really hand it to Fire Access. I can understand bad ports, I can understand developers rushing things. But when we're at the point that the same fix that people used for your previous game, right? For your previous fucking game, Fire Axis, work in its sequel and are pretty much required if you want to have a good experience, if you don't want to bother with all the performance drops, no then you've screwed up. Like, you, you really were fucking lazy when it came... Like, Firexis was really, really lazy when it came to, to the port. Uh, or to the what port. There's only one version. That, that's kind of the saddest part. You know, there was only the PC version of this game. Moving and yet out. it runs like absolute piss. That's yeah, kind of sad. You should not need a GTX 980 or a high-end computer to be able to run a game like this. And yet you do. Because for some damn reason, Firex has decided Let's to not this. give a damn about improving the performance. It's not like the fixes are, you know, some miraculous... Uh, tech... Uh, tech uh, fixes. It's just the, some lines in an any file. And yet that's enough. I can't believe that they were that lazy. Oh well, that's uh, what you get. Nailed him. And that's all I had to say. Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Yeah, I will have to take this away from the actual playthrough, but I thought it was important to actually talk about this. Because it's a bloody issue. And it just shows how incompetent or lazy the developers are, or both, you know. <laughs> if they can't fix this by finding, a, by changing some stuff in an any file, then they are honestly both incompetent and goddamn lazy. So, stay tuned for more, right, as I continue playing on Legendary Man.